What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be showing you, well I'm going to be showing you, how to build your characters. Now I know a lot of you guys have different characters and you have questions on, yo, um, who do I build, how do I build them, how do I build Razor, how do I build this character, what do I do, what's the best option. I'm going to be breaking all of that down for you guys so y'all can understand my thought process and everything like that. This is not a specific guide to one character, this will be a general guide. Uh, to help you understand how to build your character. So, we're going to be using um, Beto and Barbara mainly for the discussion of, you know, of the topic. But, um, yeah, so, um, I don't know if you guys know how Beto works or whatever, but I'm going to go over her very briefly and stuff like that. So, Beto, she is a lightning unit. She is a damage dealer. Now, she can tank damage as well. She's kind of like a bruiser, if, if you guys don't know. Um, what that is basically someone that can dish out damage, but also tank a lot of damage. So if you look at my stats right here, I have 12,000 HP, 800 attack, 600 defense, 141 mastery. And then we're not going to worry about stamina because that's like animoculus, etc. Now, if we look at my, you know, in-depth stats, I have 51% chance to crit, meaning every other attack on average will crit. Um, 60% crit damage, um, 113% uh, re energy recharge, uh, and then I have 5% cooldown reduction, but that's from the wind buff. So, there you go. Everything else is zero, right? I mean, obviously, electro damage bonus, 6%, uh, but yeah. So, that is how my how she set up. Now, we're going to go over, over everything and why she is the way she is. So, going to her talents. Obviously, her first, um, you know, her, her normal attack, she just performs five strikes um her charged attack is just stronger attacks there's nothing like crazy or anything like that um so you know that's it her second ability is her counter which if you if you press it she just does a slash of lightning uh does electro damage if she holds it she will take a counter stance and she's able to tank damage right so if you look right here uh lifts her weapon as a shield Max damage absorbs scales off of Beto's HP. So automatically, you want to be building HP on her because she, um, her counter, how much she can tank, scales off her HP. Attacks using the energy stored within the greatsword upon release or once this ability's duration expires, deals electro damage. Damage dealt scales with the number of times Beto is attacked. So building HP allows her to tank more damage. And then if she gets attacked more, she will do more damage after she counters. Um, so there you go right there. The shield possesses the following properties. House two, um, 250% electro damage absorption. Applies electro element to Beto upon activation. If you go to skill attributes, you can see the, the numbers. So, her shield is 14.4% of her max HP plus 1300, you know, 86. Her base damage, so if I just press it, it'll do 122%. Now, um, if I use the counter, it'll do 160% damage. Um, plus the other numbers, etc. So for Beto, you want to be building attack and HP. So what we're going to do is, and then I mean, if you want to look at her ultimate, her ultimate, um, basically puts lightning around her dealing electric damage. It chains lightning, um, whenever she attacks, increases the character's resistance, decreases damage taken. So she gets damage reduction and she gets increased damage. That's why she's a bruiser. But yeah, so her counter scales off of hp so uh how you want to build beto is we'll we'll go to artifacts if you look at my artifacts hp base stat defense elemental mastery hp percent energy charge right so this is giving me hp um percent and hp base stat which is going to be really really good for her now if we move to the next one Attack base stat, crit rate, defense, HP, crit damage, and then martial artist buff gives me 15% uh, to normal attacks and charged attack. So now I'm getting more HP and attack as well. Moving on to her next one, 34% uh, attack increase, HP, defense, elemental mastery, and attack. And I'm getting crit rate from this one. So now I'm getting a lot of stats into my attack stat and a lot of stats into my HP stat which is what you really, really want. Uh, moving on to the next one. This is a defense piece, making her super tanky. She's going to be taking a lot less damage. Crit rate, attack percent, 
energy recharge, and then HP percent. And this is going to be the same martial artist as the other one. But yeah, so we get that HP percent, that attack percent, and since it's defense, she's going to be super tanky. Moving on to the last one, this is crit rate. So like like I said, she's going to be tank, super tanky, but she's also going to be critting, and she's going to be critting 50% of the time, which is going to be really, really nice. Also, we have HP attack, attack percent, and then defense percent. So those are my artifacts for my Beto. Um, my weapon that I use for her gives base attack, element ma elemental mastery, and increases damage against enemies affected by hydro, hydro or electro by 24%. So water or lightning, which is really good because my main two units, m my main two units, which are Barbara and Beto, are water and lightning. So that's how I built my Beto. Now I know you're gonna probably asking, hey Darkskin, how do I build? How do I, you know, how do I understand what to build for any other character? Uh, we're going to take Razor for an example, because a lot of people have questions about Razor. A lot of people have questions about Razor. Razor and Beto are the exact same characters, except Razor does more damage and Beto is tankier. So if we go to Razor, right, obviously normal attacks, that's whatever. Going on to a second one. Swings the Thunderclaw, dealing lightning damage to enemies. Upon striking an enemy, Razor will gain his electro an Electro Sigil, which will increase his energy recharge rate. Razor can have up to three Electro Sigils simultaneously and gain a new Electro si Sigil, um, you know, refreshes the duration. Then if you hold it, it'll do an AoE, you know, electric and clear all his Electro Sigils. Uh, if you guys don't know what his Electro Sigil does, it recharges his energy rate, meaning that you can cycle his ultimate over and over and over right uh he's going to be doing a lot of lightning damage there's characters that um do a lot of elemental damage and some that don't like with uh beto her normal attacks don't do lightning damage but her her e ability and her ultimate do so it's like you got to think about that when you're building characters as far as razor you want to have a lot of base attack on him and you want to have a lot of elemental mastery because he's going to be cycling his ults a lot and once you get, you know, you get that build where you're cycling ults over and over, he's going to be doing, you know, you, you want to cycle the ult, you want to pop the ult, you want to use the ult. So that way you're going to be cycling your ult and doing electro, you know, electro damage over and over and over. So it's things like that. As far as, you know, him, you want to build raw damage. You want to um, cycle ults. You want to pop ult, get that damage out as quick as possible. Um, how his ult works, which you guys should pretty much know. He he gets like a wolf that's like right above him. And then basically his strikes do electric damage. It raises his attack speed and electric electro resistance. Causes him to be immune to damage inflicted by electricity. Disables his charged attacks and increases his resistance to interruption. So basically, since he gets increased attack speed on top of he's doing attacks, like on top of his normal attacks, He's dealing electro damage, raw, like doing bait. You want base attack percents and then elemental mastery. It's going to be super, super good for Razor. Now, obviously you can get into the specifics of, oh, well, do you want to build crit chance and crit damage, etc. later on. Um, another character I've built out is Barbara. If you look at how Barbara works, um, not even looking at her att attacks. Let's look at her E ability that heals. Um... Whenever you press her E, she puts this water around her and it causes her normal attacks to heal the entire party. And then the E ability um, heals herself or whoever you switch to at certain intervals. Now, it regenerates and scales off of, um, where's it at? It says right here, it, it, nearby allied characters for a certain amount of HP, it scales off of her max HP. So, her E ability scales off her max HP and then if you look at her ultimate, it also scales off of her max HP. So as far as Barbara goes, you want to be building HP. That's it, right? You don't need to build any attack stat. If you look at the weapon I have for Barbara, uh, obviously it's a weapon, so it has attack on it. But she has HP percent on the weapon, right? Her passive, when switching characters, the new character taking the field has a, their attack increased by 48% for 10 turns. This effect can only occur once every 20 seconds. So since I don't, I'm not going to be using Barbara, I'm going to heal with her and then switch out. I have a book on her that is going to be giving an attack boost to my main damage dealer, which will be Beto. On top of the water combination and the lightning combination, I'm going to be getting the 24% from her weapon as well. 
Um, so, like, literally, as far... If you want to look at the artifacts on her, I don't really have any, like, crazy artifacts. But if we look at them, uh, I get HP, uh, base stat right here. Then I get energy recharge, which is going to get her um, ult up quicker. We go here. Uh, HP percent right here. Defense percent. Energy recharge. Here, HP percent. HP uh, substat. HP percent again. We get a hundred, a thousand HP on the adventurer and plus some defense. Then right here, also HP percent and plus a hundred HP uh, as well. So we we have like just all HP on her. Her attack. If you want to look at her stats, um, she little look four hundred attack stat. Right. So she literally has no attack. She has a little bit of defense. She's all HP basically. So uh, what I'm going to be doing for you guys uh, is going into this domain real quick and showing you guys my characters and how they play out and everything like that now you can put this into play for any character that you want you look at any character say we go to venti we look at his talents uh you see what he scales off of etc etc um and then you just want to build that character based off of that so i'm gonna go ahead and go into this domain and show you guys how the build works out um as far as everything i hope this video helped you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. A lot of you guys have been just asking, hey, um, you know, I need to know how to build this character. I need to know how to build this character. I was actually going to ask you guys, do y'all want me to do individual videos for characters? Or do y'all want, want me to do more generalized videos like this? Um, I'm willing to do individual characters if that's what you guys want. Just let me know in the comment section below because I'm not really sure if that's what y'all want or not. But um, we're going to go ahead and go into this domain and I'm going to show you guys just how much damage my Beto Barbara combo is doing because of how I have them built. And you basically can put that to your characters, do whichever you need to do. So we're going to go ahead and get into here. So there's already water enemies, so I don't even need to use my Barbara, but I still will. Right? So we get them wet. And then it's like right there, you can see the E doing a lot of damage. But if I use the counter, I'll do even more damage, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. So... As soon as I get my counter back up, I will show you guys. Now, in this domain, your cooldowns are higher, but that's perfectly fine. So, so we'll go right here. And I take damage. And look, I'm hitting... That was 3,500 damage. 3,500 damage. If I pop my ult, it'll start chaining lightning on all the enemies as well. So, so the build that I have, where I switch to Barbara, right? And then I switch back. I now have an attack boost, if you guys can see right there. All right. Okay, I didn't. They didn't attack me. I didn't take any damage there. But yeah, it's like, I'm. Trust me when I tell you, like, if if you want to follow my build for your characters, that's perfectly fine too. Because I know a lot of you guys aren't really sure as to what you should build or how you should build it. Which I get it, right? I know I'm taking a lot more time, but that's just because I'm not killing the enemies. I'm trying to explain to you guys what's going on and everything like that but as you guys saw my beto hit for like 3500 damage and that's just because she had the attack boost um she countered she got the extra damage from the counter and all of those things there so as far as building your characters you just want to look at their talents look what they scale off of and then make that decision off there um like i said in the comment section below let me know if you guys want me to do specific videos for each character and break down what they should build and what they need um, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Just let me know. I, I don't know if that's what, something you guys want to see. Uh, also, if, if you do, let me know what characters. Because I don't want to do it for a character no one uses, you know. But um, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, be sure to give it a like. To subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.